Today I'm going to tell you about four different methods that I use to document my life and I'm going to give you some tips how you can do it in a way that you don't miss out on the present moment and you can keep it up consistently and do it as easily as possible. The first thing that I do to document my life is to keep a diary. I write a few lines in this diary every evening before going to bed and this is a very simple but also very effective way to keep track of everything that happens in your life. In this diary I write down what happened in a day and I also write how I felt in the moment. I always keep this with me so when I want to I can just write down something really quick and sometimes I use this for drawing and I draw a quick sketch in there of a place or of something that I want to remember. If you have tried writing a diary but you weren't able to keep it up on a daily basis then something that you can try that I find very helpful is to write at least one sentence per day. Because even if you don't have a lot of time in the evening or you don't feel like writing in your diary, you can still write one sentence. It literally takes only one minute and that's a very easy way to make this a daily habit. The second method of documenting my life that I use is photography. You can use whatever camera you want. You can use a small point and shoot camera or you can use a big DSLR. The most important thing is that you choose a camera that you know you will always have on you. Because you could have the best camera in the world but if you don't have it on you on a daily basis it won't really help you a lot with documenting your life. I actually often use my smartphone for taking photos in the moment because this is something that I have on me almost always and smartphones nowadays actually take pretty decent pictures so this is something that you can use to document your life. I feel like we have a tendency to only take photos of highlight moments of our lives when we are visiting amazing places and having beautiful experiences but I think it's also beautiful to just capture everyday moments. These things might not seem that special right now but in 10 or 20 years those moments will really feel very special and it will be really great to be able to look back on those things. Something that I have noticed looking back through my old pictures is that the photos that mean the most to me are usually photos that have people in them. So now I make it a point to take photos not only of buildings and beautiful scenery but also of my friends and loved ones and the people around me. Now with photography there is a very big danger that you end up having too many pictures and you never really look through them because if you have thousands of images on your phone you are probably never going to look at them. So you should curate your photos and really go through them on a regular basis and delete all the photos that don't mean anything to you. You can do this on the subway or when you are waiting somewhere and you don't have anything else to do. You can just take out your phone and scroll through your camera roll and delete all the photos that you don't really want to keep anymore. And then only the photos that really mean something to you will be left and it will be so much more meaningful and enjoyable to look back at those photos. Something else that you can do to document your life is to make simple videos. You can use your smartphone to film simple vlogs and videos and you can use free editing software to create basic videos. I like to film whatever it is that I'm doing but also to film some clips of the surroundings so you have more context. You can also film yourself and talk to the camera and explain what you're doing, explain how you're feeling in the moment or film others and ask them questions, ask them how they're feeling, what they're doing and so looking back you will really have a nice snapshot of the moment, of the people that were involved, of the situation and it will be very fun and rewarding to look at that. Then you can just cut it together in the sequence that makes sense, add some music, maybe choose some music that you associate with that place or that situation and then you have a video that you can look at in the future. I have taken photos almost my entire life and I have also written my diary and filmed videos for a few years now but something that I only started doing recently is to record audio. This is something that I learned from Nathaniel Drew's Skillshare course on documenting your life and it is something that I really love. I simply use my phone to record audio. Sounds are really a very powerful way to bring back memories and I find that just listening to audio sometimes brings back memories much clearer and more alive than when I'm just looking at a photo or a video. I simply use my phone to record audio wherever there is an interesting sound ambience. This might be birds chirping in the woods. 
This could be street musicians or it could just be the talking and chatter and noise of the city. You could also record yourself talking and in that way create kind of an audio diary and just talk into the microphone and talk about how you feel, what's going on in your mind, about the scenery around you. And if you combine this with the ambient sounds that you record, you can create simple edits and it's something like radio programs about your life that you can listen to. Okay, so now I told you about four different methods that you can use to document your life. You can write a diary and draw simple sketches in your diary. You can take photos, you can make videos or you can record audio. So there are a lot of different options. Just try them out and see what works for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, hit that like button. It really helps this channel a lot. And subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you if you want in my next video.